What's up guys, welcome back to another episode where today we'll be checking out Step by Little Step. So this isn't the usual horror I play, it's more of we're trying to bring our pet back to life. So it'll be very interesting to see how this game is portrayed. I'm very, I'm very apprehensive. I feel a softness brush against my leg, followed by the familiar purr ringing in my ear. It takes all my power not to look down at the ball of fluff nuzzling against my leg. It was part of the deal after all. What deal? I could bring my beloved cat back to the realm of the living. But only if I could do so without turning back to look at her. Oh. Okay. Imagine that you want to look at them and everything, but you can't. Okay, take the first step. It is going to be quite the hike to reach the surface. But it would be worth it, surely, surely. But then again, why are we trying to bring our animal back to life? What, what is the reason behind it? I move slowly, hear a little jingle of her bell collar echo under me with every step as her third body waltzes between my legs. I trust that she is with me. Another step, I make my way up the seemingly unending stairs. Satisfied with all the nuzzling, she falls back. It makes walking easier, but not being able to see her or feel her fur against my leg makes me anxious. Is she still following me? I mean, you can hear her. She's there. She's there. We're not going to let that full trust she is behind us. I tentatively take another step forward, straining my ears, listening to the jingling of her bells. Is she walking a little slower? Or am I just imagining this? I trust that she is alright. I can hear her. She sounds fine. No, she's alright. She's still alright. The fact that I can still hear her behind me is enough assurance for me to know she's alright. We have to keep moving. I'm curious to know why she passed away and why we're trying to bring her back. And is it more the case of um, she's maybe undergoing an operation and the vet has basically said we can let her go to sleep naturally as, or you know not wake her up as such or are we trying to you know give her medication or something to bring her back around what is the whole you know what is this realm what is actually going on very intrigued i don't know if we'll find out but i kind of hope we do but they're gonna guess it's sort of um metaphorical we have to keep moving only then can I bring her back. Only then we can have a little more time. Only then I can save her. Save her from what, right? I trust that she'll hang on. Why? When you say hang on, why does she need to hang on? What is she hanging on to, essentially? I keep climbing. Each step heavier than the last. You can fit. You can really see it in the um, visuals. That it's like coming like almost a burden. And, um, yeah, I was going to say, I can barely hear the jingling that her collar makes. It's getting a bit fainter. Soon, I'll no longer hear her behind me. Is this the right thing to do? I don't know. I need a bit more background behind the situation. If that makes sense. I'm just trying to think what I'd do if I could sort of go back and bring my cat back based on her state that she was in it wouldn't have been fair so it's difficult to really make this kind of decision when you don't know the full ins and outs but i'm gonna carry on for now for her to follow me this far did she know what that meant did i does she even want this her the thing is if she's sort of lingering does she actually not want come with us carry on a little bit longer i can't just give up now i resist the urge to look back i need to trust that she is behind me i need to trust it will make it out of here that we'll have more time together that we just need to make it out of here and everything will be all right <laughs> yeah well, i trust we'll make it out of here when was the last time she purred? Now, I can hear her purring now. You know, she used to purr up a storm. She loves snuggles very much. She'd cry to be let in my room at night where she'd climb onto my bed. She'd purr through the whole night. 
I trust that she still wants to be with me. She's always been a playful yet gentle cat. She'd play with her claws tucked in, always careful not to bite me too hard. She still mews like a kitten. I guess I thought she'd stay that way forever. Unfortunately, things don't last forever. Th that's a really difficult one. Like, why are we having to bring her back? And I keep going back to this, but it's difficult to, to say when we don't know the whole situation. But she sounds happy enough. I never minded hand feed. Hang on, hand feeding her. Why are you hand feeding her? It was hard at first, but I'd find a way to give her food or water when she couldn't eat or drink anymore. I ground her food and feed her with a syringe when I needed to. I think that... That's a... Why? Is it... Is it... Did, did she just recover from a mouth surgery? Maybe she has some teeth removed? Or is it the fact that she was trying to give up and you were not letting her. She probably doesn't enjoy eating anymore at that state, but I I'm going to carry on because I'm very intrigued to see uh, to, to find out a little bit more. Hey buddy, I'll take you to the gardens again next spring when it's filled with birds and butterflies. You feel the cool breeze on your fur and hopefully you'll feel good enough to purr again. So please. This is hard. This is actually really hard. I'm going to go with that one because I know this game has two endings. Whether I'll do the other ending or not, which I imagine is looking back, but we'll see. At this point, I'm just being selfish, aren't I? Is it wrong of me to want a little more time? How do I know where to stop? How do I know what you want? How do I know when to end things? <sighs> I've made it this far, I'm gonna go for the top one. But the truth is, I've always known how the story would end. This is such a simple game, but it's so hard. I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go with the the top one, not because I feel it's the right thing to do, but because I want to get back and get to this point again and do the look back. I, I guess. I loved you. So I'll. Sorry. So I will always choose to see you. So I'll always choose to see you. So I'll see our character wants to look back. So we'll we'll look back. But I'm gonna probably zip back through and get to this point again to see what happens. I look back, defeated. You were always there behind me. Your face painless and relaxed. More relaxed than it's ever been in many years. You were in so much pain, was I wrong to keep you by my side for this long? The guilt of keeping you by my side will haunt me for the rest of my life, but I know you'll forgive me. You always have. I hear the echoes of a purr as I watch you disappear. I never really had a choice, did I? I had to look back. I had to. I looked back because I loved you. I loved you, so I had to learn to let you go. Thanks for trusting me, little one. Thanks for trusting me, little one. I loved you very, very much. Rightio. <laughs> let me get back to the, the top again. Let me get back to the top again and we'll see what happens. Okay, so we're back here. I'm gonna go for the top one. I loved you, so I'll always choose to see you. And if I see you as you are now, I know I'll lose you. But looking away doesn't stop the flow of time. I'll lose you regardless, I know. You're tired, I know. <laughs> I, but I beg you, 
Just a bit longer. Just a little more time. Just a bit longer. Just a little more time. It's like, okay, it's the same thing. It's like, okay, so it, we can't do any more than that from by the looks of it. Um, okay, I guess we'll just have to look back and it's the same ending as before. So what I might do is do looking back straight away and see what happens out of interest. Um, so let me just get there quickly. Okay, so uh, this is the first look back available in the game. I look back almost instantly. I look back almost instantly, instinctively. I see her there standing before me. Her gaze loving and trusting as ever. Her eyes tells me she's forgiven me for letting her go. So she forgives us. A feeling of sorrow and regret fills me as I watch her fade away into the darkness. Could I have done more? Would it have mattered if I did? I've always known how this tower would end. I'm sorry and I love you. I loved you very, very much. Okay. Okay guys, so that was step by little step. That was honestly one of the hardest games I've ever played and I think it's because I can really put myself in the character's shoes wondering if I've done enough or too much. I'm sure we've all lost a pet at some point and as much as we know it is the right decision to make, it doesn't change how wrong it feels to no longer have them by our side. I believe we got both endings and honestly the last one we got, I feel as the character that we should have done that all along, like made that decision to let the cat go sooner rather than later. Despite how much of an emotional rollercoaster that game was, I thoroughly enjoyed the experience and honestly I'll certainly be keeping my open for more from the developer. So that's it for today guys, but if you enjoyed the video then do let me know by clicking that like button and if you'd like to see more then don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Otherwise I'll see you next time.